Hello, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can script AliExpress using Selenium and Python. Let's get started. So before we start you have to download the Selenium binary and I link the page in the description down below. So you go to this page and you choose the version of uh, Chrome that matches your current Chrome version. So for me it's 87 and then you download the one that matches your OS. I have already downloaded it's the Mac one. So I don't need to. Now, once that is done, let's import Selenium driver. So you'll have to install Selenium beforehand. So import web driver. And we also gonna need from LXML import HTML. That's gonna allow us to uh, parse the HTML using XPath. I will link a video on XPath if you want to learn more about it. Let's create our driver. So driver equals Chrome. I put the binary and TMP. So that should work. And then let's do request. So let's let's search for bikes today. Bike. There we go. Let's copy this. And let's paste it here. Alright, let's try this. As you can see it works so let's quit this and continue uh, we also going to need to import from time import sleep so that oh, so that basically selenium has some time to load the page basically uh, we can't just do our operations right after because sometimes there's some javascript that's not yet loaded so i'm gonna type sleep one i think that should be enough we'll see you later and now we can transform the page into XPath. Well, into an element tree where we can use XPath. To do that, we say tree equals HTML from string. And we take the driver that page source, which is basically the HTML that we just extracted here. There we go. Now we have a tree. So let's see how we can scrape this page. Uh, what we can do is get every product on this page. So get the title, the price, uh, maybe the reviews, and the number of sold items. Yeah, let's get these four information. I think that should be already good. Okay, so where is the product? Let's see how a product looks like in HTML. Okay, these are all the products. So it's in here. And then Okay, so basically one div is for four products, or maybe five, yeah, four products, and then it's individual, yeah. Okay, but where are these, let's see, oh, okay, as you can see, these are not charged yet, and we have to scroll first. So, let's do this in Selenium, so that everything charges here, alright, so, in Selenium to scroll, we can say driver that execute script and we're gonna say what's it again window uh, that scroll can't remember correctly scroll to uh, from zero to document body and it was scroll height if i remember correctly this i think this, this should be one let's add a sleep so it doesn't quit on us Let's try this. Okay, charge. Let's quit this. Okay, and it scrolled down. Okay, great. Now we have all the pages in there. Great, great, great. Now we can continue. Okay, uh, now that we have this, let's see how we can scrape the product. So the products are this like this, but the individual products are re class list item okay we can use this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called xpath helper on chrome which is an extension and you can use xpath in real time so this one is a ul with this class so uh, can i do an ul with a class uh, what am i doing there we go and there we go, we have all the products here. 
Okay, this should be good. Let's take this. Um, let's do a loop so for every product tree in tree. Now that we have a tree, that x path, basically what we just wrote there. There we go, and then we need the title. So we get the title, we inspect element on it, and we see what it looks like. Okay, so we can either get the title from the text here, or it's in the title attribute. Let's take it from the title attribute. Okay, to do this, we need okay, we can use an A with class item title. Let's see if it's if it works. So A with a class item title. Okay, seems to be working. Let's see if we can get the, the title like that. We get an attribute to use this at. Okay, battery pack. That seems to be working. We can use that. So title equals product tree. We're using product tree because tree here is the whole HTML, where product tree is only one. Uh, it's basically only the HTML of one product, so we can continue right there. So we say product tree that xpath dot because we want to continue where we left off. Basically, we want to continue right here. That was slash, and it was what was it again? It was uh, oh, I copied it. Never mind. There we go. And now we need. Let's take the type uh, the price. Price well. That should be easy. Span with class this. Let's see if it works too. Yep, it does work. So we can use this. Price is product. We have xpath dot this. Then we have the reviews. Which are product tree dot xpath like this. Let's see what the reviews look like in HTML. Uh, not there. Okay, no, this is the image we need, the data, which is here. Okay, it's a rating value. Okay, and span with uh, class rating value. Okay, let's see. Rating value. Yep, that works too. All right, let's do this. Dot. And then the number of sold items. So number of sold items is here. Let's see what this one looks like. Um, sale value link. Yeah, that should do the trick. So it's an A with a class sale value link. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it's all highlighted. So let's take this dot. And let's print these. Um, let's say title, price, review, and number sold. Okay. This this should work. Let's try this out. Okay, doing this thing, scrolling down, and then uh, what? Expel. Oh, I misspelled. 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 Or then spell xpath here. My bad, my bad. Let's do this again. Okay. As you can see, we have this one. Well, weird. That's weird because we have only the titles and then. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I didn't add the text here because in the extension here, you don't need to add text, but in the code, we need to. Except if it is an attribute like that. If it's an attribute, it's automatically transformed to a text. So this should work. All right. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we have all the different data here. Mm, 
So the thing is that it's using, it's getting the titles and the prices. I think this one is, I didn't use the right thing. So let's see. So these are all the products. Oh wait, I did. What did I use? I used this one. No, I need to use this one. What did I write there? Oh my bad. It should be an ally here. I copied the wrong, uh, the wrong thing. I copied the whole products, but I only needed the single products here. So it's not the right one. It's this item like that. Now it will work. There we go, title, then we have the price, the rating, and then we have number sold. Okay, this works. Now what we can do is try to scrape every page. Well, let's say uh, 10 pages. This has 60 pages, so let's see what the URL looks like if we're on the next page. Okay, it's just the page that changes. Okay, let's copy this. Let's change the URL here. There we go. I'm gonna add something like this and format and I'm gonna call it page number. So let's make a loop for page number in range from let's say one to ten. So we have one to nine basically. And let's do it like that. Alright. That should be great. And then let's add, let's add this. So we know that's the next product. That's the next page that's scraped. All right, let's run this. So let's see here, first page, second page, third page. You see, uh, you understand what I mean. All right, that's how we do a scraper for AliExpress. And just with this information about XPath and Selenium, you can already do most of the things that you need. You can create uh, lots of interesting stuff. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, please subscribe and leave a like. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.